Hello everyone, this is Frandil. Welcome to this session. In today's video, we are going to focus on could and would. Could and would are modal verbs. They are very important. A little complicated and quite challenging. If you stay tuned, I am quite sure by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding about functions, users and differences between could and would. If you are new to this channel, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to our channel. Then you won't miss any new videos. Are you ready? If you are ready, let's get into it. Let's look at the first function. It's all about past tense forms of can and will. Could is the past tense form of can. Can can be used to talk about present ability of a person. I'll give you one example. I can run a mile in 20 minutes now. Here can means that I have this habit in the process. Could can be used to talk about past abilities of a person. Here's the next example. I could run a mile in 10 minutes when I was younger. Here could means that I had this ability to run a mile in 10 minutes when I was younger. And also remember that I don't have this ability any longer. Now let's move on to learn about past tense form of will. What is the past tense form of will? Will can be used to talk about someone's certainty and confidence. I'll give you one example. I know my brother will pass the exam. Here will means that I am certain and confident that my brother will pass the exam. Would can be used to talk about someone's past confidence and certainty. Here's the next example. I knew that my brother would pass the exam. Here would means that I was confident and certain that my brother would pass the exam. That's all about past tense forms of can and will. Now let's move on to learn about the next function. Second function is about possible situations and imaginary situations. When talking about possible situations, you can use only could. Remember not to use put in possible situations. I'll give you a couple of examples. Let's look at them. The sky is dark and cloudy. It could rain tonight but not it would rain tonight. Here could means that there is a high possibility that it may rain tonight. Let's look at the second example. Sam is not answering his phone. He could be busy now. Here could means that it is possible that Sam is busy now. Now let's move on to learn about imaginary situations. These situations are imaginary, unreal and hypothetical. In imaginary situations, you can use both could and would with a little difference. Let's look at some sets of examples. If I won a lottery ticket, I would buy a beautiful house by the beach. Here you can replace would with could with a little difference. If I won a lottery ticket, I could buy a beautiful house by the beach. Second example. If Sue worked hard, she would pass the exam. Instead of would, you can use could. If Sue worked hard, she could pass the exam. That's all about possible situations and imaginary situations. Now let's move on to learn about the last function. The third and the last function is about polite expressions. Under polite expressions, there are four categories. Making suggestions making offers, making requests, and finally asking somebody for permission. Let's look at the first category, making suggestions. I'll give you some examples. We already tried that restaurant yesterday. We could try that New Sri Lankan restaurant across the street. Let's look at the second example. This place is very noisy. We could find somewhere else to do our studies. All these are suggestions. Let's look at the second category. It's about making offers. 
when making offers we use only would not could remember that i'll give you a couple of examples would you like some ice cream would you like a piece of cake would you like some orange juice now it's time to learn about the third polite category the third polite expression category is about making requests when making requests you can use both could and would remember that i'll give you some examples could you open the window please and you can say would you open the window please now i am going to give you a fixed expression here in this fixed expression we don't use could we use only would would you mind opening the window please let's look at the final polite expression character asking for permission when asking for permission you can use both could and would i am going to give you some expressions that you can use when you ask somebody for permission here they are could i borrow your pen please now these two expressions are very important they are fixed but instead of would you can't use could now let's look at it would you mind if i borrowed your pen would it be okay if i borrowed your pen in the if clause always the verb in past simple you need to remember that all right dear children we have already come to the end now it's time for a test now what you have to do you can pause the video then you can think about your answers then you can replay the video and check your answers whether they are correct That's all for today's lesson. We have come to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video important and useful, please hit the subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and share this video with your friends. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye now.